So for the longest time, the 2K Total Worlds was incredibly laggy for me and for a bunch of other people. So I just haven't used the 2K Worlds in many months. But I just got told by a friend to try out 2K Worlds because apparently the lag is fixed. So I'm able to, to yeah, basically flick my prayers no problem. And yeah, my characters are responding very fast. So I'm gonna try out, you know, some bossing on this world and yeah, see if it's good for me. Oh, all right. This is the big boy 500 KC uh, Corporal Beast. Halfway to a thousand, but yeah. I've been working at Corporal Beast at a snail's pace though, but it's finally here, 500 KC uh, Corporal Beast, damn. That's uh, very nice. I wonder uh, when the next sigil is gonna happen though. I, I don't know. This boss is so RNG, so let's see what happens in the next 100. So I've been using both 2K worlds for like 3 hours now, and yo, it is back. At least for the people that were, you know, getting the lag. It's not lagging anymore, it's great. I can pretty much do everything on both 2K worlds, so I'm very happy with that. I saw this guy, obviously, you know, coming to try to PK my ass. And it, there was only one person. Oh no, there was, yeah, there was like uh, two people. Oh, hold on, let me get the loot first. Oh my god, what the f <laughs> Yo, we just got another claw. Wow, dude. What the hell, dude? Yo, dude, the fifth dragon claw. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so confused, dude. Why can't it be in such a balance? But whatever, dude. Yo, number five. <laughs> that's that's funny. That's funny. I surprise myself every time. So I thought I out all my rune stuff for the construction grind, but no, I still have a lot left. I have 198 rune axes. I can out like 190 of those, and uh, about 30 rune crossbows. But the big ticket right here. 50 room play bias that I can out. That's gonna get me a few mil. So that's gonna be some easy money just to uh, use for the rune consumptions, you know, like death runes and chaos runes. I use them up like crazy for my PVM. So be able to resupply in no time. All right, here is another agility level while making some money. 84 agility, that's awesome. Got 300k to 85. So Ideally, I want to obviously want to get to the RE rooftops, but I still got a while But uh, I heard boosting at a, a lower level before 90 is actually pretty sustainable for the RD core So if I can get to 87 in the distant future, then I'm definitely gonna go ahead and invest in making some summer pies and just yeah use like the preserve to sustain my boost for a long time and just hit up that RD course Heard the marks there was amazing compared to you know all the other ones anyways Oh, nice. Got a personal best. <laughs> That's cool. With freaking adamant darts, dude. Wow. Two more seconds than easily. I could have went under a minute. But yeah, I'll probably hit under a minute even using adamant darts. In the upcoming uh, few kills, the Venge is going to you know help out with that. It's pretty good. Oh my goodness. Elite Clue Scroll. That's nice. Just trying to get some scales, but yo... That's good. I'm gonna put this in Watson, and that means I'll have two master clues ready to do. Feels good, man. Okay, I'm gonna make this master clue hidey hole. And uh, I made two art lights. You can actually do that. So this one's got 1,000 charges. I'm gonna put that in there. Nice, that's perfect. There we go. Haven't opened a master clue in a while, but I must be closing in on 60 master clues, right? Yeah, let's check this one out though. Here we go. Oh, nice. I got some nut sacks. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, no sign of any unique items. But yeah, pretty decent rewards otherwise though. Oh, what? Uh, I am sorry. I'm almost to 70 Master Clues. Not 60. Wow. Oh my god. Seriously? Another Elite Clue Scroll. Wow. Wait, wait, wait. I wonder if I can still see the elite clue scroll that i got from before yo i can okay 1861 
1865. Wow. That's crazy. Another one. Damn, DJ Khaled. Thanks, dude. Well, I guess I have to do another Master Clue now. Okay. Oh, man. Once I make this hidey hole, this is going to be so much easier to do this Master Clue because then I don't have to bring it with me every time. So that is one of the best things to have done in terms of hidey holes that I could have made. Well, I guess I'm doing back-to-back -back master clues essentially, so opening this second one of the day. Here goes nothing. Okay. Well, it's been a while since I've gotten a, like a unique piece of equipment, but we'll, we'll just take the reward though, it's decent. Get on food. There's a Gohorn, nice. These are actually a pretty good herbal XP nowadays because you can talk to that guy to crush it into uh, the Gohorn dust, which I can use to make some combat pots really quick for some herb XP if I want to in the future. Let me see how much I got right now. Should have like 2k, I think. Nice, 2k. That's from 500 corp kills, I think. Oh damn that venge kill dude that was clean. Oh wow. Such a clean kill for like <laughs> really uh mediocre drop. Oh man, that this kill was just tough. Oh, onyx bolts, nice. For a tough kill, I get myself 1.5 mil. Thank you very much. That's some good house that I will be using soon to buy some runes back. Alright, ooh, last kill, 20 rune darts, that's, I mean, 200 rune darts. I will take that, it's pretty nice. So this portion of the video is going to be about my Inferno attempt progress thus far. So let me just get straight to the point for now and then elaborate more on it. So I actually made it to Zug today, which honestly was awesome. You know, I feel so much more confident now that I actually made it there and, and did some you know pretty good progress in that final wave that I'm definitely motivated you know to try a bit harder so I've been doing one to two hours of inferno practice a day ever since I started and yeah it's it's been well I've been pacing myself well you know I don't want to get too burnt out doing inferno because I am grinding some pretty uh, you know heavy PVM right now just doing a lot of solo raids and stuff so I want to make sure I balance it out but I think I can probably start transitioning to practicing on my Iron Man but I think I'll try to get to suck again on my main first a second time before I make that decision because it's really costly in the supplies. So I'll, you know, play it smart. So anyways, let's talk about the suck fight for a little bit. So I have been simulating, you know, how I was going to tackle Zuck in my head for many days now. You know, I watch videos of people do their infernos, especially paying close attention to one of my good friends that's been trying to do the inferno with a dragon hunter crossbow. If you know how bad of a crossbow it is compared to like a, even an army of crossbow, let alone the twisted bow, you will know how insanely challenging that is, you know. So he almost beat the Inferno with it, so you know, I've been paying close attention to his strategy and I learned a lot from him and just double checking strategies to find, you know, the best way that I can tackle the boss with the army of crossbow. Let me tell you, it helps so much brainstorming the strategy that I was going to use against Sug using all the tips and tricks that I've learned from other people doing the Inferno. And being able to visualize that plan in your head, you know, pretend that you're already there, helps so much. So when I got to the Sug fight, I was surprisingly calm. Probably because I already, you know, had a really solid plan uh, thought up in my head. And yeah, I just went through drill after drill in my head for a long time. I only started panicking a bit when Jazz spawned because once you get at half health, you know, the minion spawn, you have to lower them in between. And yeah, that was a little bit scary because, yeah, once those minions were on you, I was getting hit a bit. So I was like, oh shit, I gotta protect from melee in between Jad's attacks. And yeah, I messed up like one time and I got hit for like a 50 from Jad or something. So that's got me pretty nervous. But honestly, I was just so calm. At least compared to, say, Fight Caves when I fought Jad for the first time. Dude. That was way scarier, you know, my hands were shaking, but here, I my hands never shook. I was only just a little nervous, honestly. It's kind of funny how back when I was younger, and I went to fight Jad for the first time in fight caves, and oh my god, dude, I was just 
shaking nonstop. My hands could not stop shaking. But compared to when I was doing triple jabs at the Inferno, and they were stronger, by the way, at the same time, I was way more calm. So that's pretty ironic, you know? But yeah, I guess with age comes wisdom and, you know, less nervousness. But I got clumsy towards the very end, and uh, I stepped out the shield by accident, and yeah, got one bang by the boss. I think I would have had enough super stores to beat Zug if I didn't accidentally forget to pick up one of my super stores. So when you drop something in the Inferno, it lasts for 30 minutes. So I drop a super store, you know, my first 30 minutes of that attempt, just so I can have that inventory space to use to switch between my blowpipe and, you know, my shield and my wand. Because you, you need that extra space or else you can't switch between two items and, you know, a two-handed weapon. So I freaking forgot to pick up that super store and yeah, after 30 minutes it disappears. So ideally, if I make it to suck again, I want to make sure I have like a solid 4 to 5 super stores and like at least 5 brews for the final fight. And I think that can be done easily because in this attempt, I got all the way to the final boss with 6 brews left. So that means I can easily swap out one of the brews and just have the extra super store. And I would have already met five super stores, which, yeah, would have been it. You know, I would have had the supplies. So in terms of being skilled enough to do the Inferno to get to the final boss with enough potions to actually beat the whole thing, I think I have met that requirement, which is great. That I think that was probably one of the hardest things, you know, that I needed to learn. So I got that down. And then the next hard part is just finally beating the final boss. So. All that's left for me to do, really, is just beat the final boss. That's it. So, I think I might be able to. Maybe by this week, if not next week. So I will talk more about the Inferno progress definitely in the next episode. Maybe I'll see you with the Inferno Kid, we'll see. So guys, I got about a week left before I gotta go back to school. Summer vacation is almost over, but I still want to make the most out of it in terms of, you know, progress for my Iron Man. So I'm gonna keep working on it until the very end. But once school starts again and I'm adjusted to this semester in relation, you know, to my video uploading schedule and all that stuff, I will talk to you guys more about the plan for this upcoming year. I am pretty happy to say that, you know, I'll be able to produce quality videos for at least another solid year for you guys. So definitely look forward to that. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and thank you for being patient because I know I haven't been uploading as frequent as I, I once was. It's just that I'm trying to make quality videos and it does take a lot longer right now because I'm so late into this Iron Man that everything I do takes so much hours and yeah, you don't really get that many clips of quality out of it, unfortunately. So you'll just have to bear with me on that. And other than that, I hope to see you guys soon with another video in less than a week, hopefully. Let's try for that. All right, bye-bye.